in 2019, 11 million people traveled to India. The rapid growing number of people traveling around the world has taken a toll on the nature's sustainability. The pause due to COVID-19 has given the time to the tourist attractions to recover. But if we do not understand and learn to travel sustainably, the condition will aggravate. To save nature and help you everyone travel responsibly, I and seven of my friends who are known as travelers out there are here to share how you can travel responsibly post-COVID-19. Tip number one, please say no to single-use plastic. Every year, 8 million pieces makes it to the ocean. It's been six years that I've been trying to travel sustainably and not use single-use plastic. I carry my own bottle, bamboo toothbrush, and stainless steel straw. If you try, you can make it too. Your small efforts will save the nature from the plastic. Tip number two is to switch to eco-friendly menstrual products. India has a massive plastic waste problem and waste management is much left to be desired. Every year, India has to deal with disposal of 12.3 billion sanitary napkins, most of which are not even biodegradable or compostable. That's a massive number, right? So what can we do about it? Switching to eco-friendly menstrual options is a great idea, starting with the menstrual cup. Saves you a ton of money every year and also reduces plastic waste to almost zero during your menstrual cycle, of course. If the menstrual cup is not for you, you can always consider moving to a better option such as reusable cotton pads, which can be washed and worn time and again. Tip number three is to carry your own mug for your coffee or for your smoothie. Just a fact, 16 billion disposable mugs are being used every year, which amounts to 6.5 billion trees being cut and 4 billion gallons of water. So guys, please try to carry your own stuff, a disposable cup or a blender jet. That's my tip for you. So the fourth point is respect our natural resources. The problem here is that we often misuse our resources. And for instance, in Ladakh, a cold mountain desert with shortage of water supply, the locals have adapted to living under 25 liters per day, whereas a tourist takes about 75 to 100 liters per day. As per resources, with over 700 hotels in Ladakh, hosts about a quarter of million every year. Can you imagine the consequences on natural resources? The only solution is to reduce your shower time and switch off all the appliances when not in use. Yeah, it's that simple. Tip number five, reduce carbon footprint. The problem lies with the increased emission of GHG, that is greenhouse gases, which depletes the atmosphere and primarily the ozone layer and also is the major contributor towards global warming. In fact, United Nations World Tourism Organization recently shared that airplanes, cars and other modes of transport contribute 75% of tourism-based emission of GHG. Yes guys, so it's insanely polluting and disturbing the environmental factors. What you can do to avoid this is to try and avoid airplanes as much as possible. I know sometimes it's is mandated to get an airplane but if you can avoid there's nothing better than that also once you are in this destination try and use public transport and there's nothing better than getting a bicycle or just walking around the city to find the most unexplored places trust me all the beautiful places i've ever seen are on my feet but stay safe and take care of this environment tip number six is to dispose of your waste responsibly the biggest problem us indians are facing right now is Guesses? Littering. For instance, in Chennai's Elliot's Beach, the plastic waste amounted to 40% by tourists and it was as high as 96% in Odisha. But there is a simple solution to it. All you have to do is carry a cloth bag, put all your waste material into that bag and then dispose it off later on responsibly. It is that simple. Tip number seven, support local and ethical businesses. If you're not aware, one of the major chunk of pollution today is caused by big corporations who misuse and pollute the resources. A recent published report states that 100 energy companies have been responsible for 71% of industrial pollution since human-driven climate change has been officially recognized. What can you and I do here? Be more vocal towards local shop locally, support small businesses because you're not only helping towards climate change but you're also helping to sustain small families. Tip number eight, 
is to stand against animal cruelty. I think the lockdown should make it pretty easy to understand that uh, for so long we've all been living in our little cages, longing to go out there, be in nature, meet our family and friends. Um, and for us, this is a temporary phase. We'll get out of it and we'll get out there. But for billions of animals around the planet, this is their permanent phase. And we actually pay money and make choices to make it happen. You know, every time we go to zoos, uh, every time we consume animal products, uh, every time we go to an attraction that lets you get really up close to an animal, uh, take a selfie with them or pet them, we are basically paying to keep animals in lockdown forever. And the easiest thing we can do about it is take a stand against animal cruelty and say no to such, such attractions. So these are some genuinely amazing tips to travel responsibly. If you have got some tips, share with us in the comment section. And if you like this video, don't forget to share it with other people who are traveling. That's it for now. Travel responsibly. Stay safe.